Juliana here? She was. Juliana? Juliana? She was. She was. That's all right. Huh. Everything's good. We're all happy. Things mm -hmm. are fine. We're so happy. We're so happy. Because <laughs> Ben Pold's lyrics are super cheery, right? Yeah, I was going to say, are we going to play Fred Jones part two? He sits alone. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's funny because it's a lyric. <laughs> um, okay, so um, we're going we're gonna, to... We're improvising. We're not. These are pre-written songs. Um, uh, this is um, a song that I've always really liked singing. Um, we're back to musical theater for a sec. Um, this is a and this is a play or it's a a part that I played when I was 18 with aforementioned Jillian. She's coming back over and over in this, which is great. Um, last five years, the last five years, um, I I her and I put it on ourselves basically. Um, we produced it ourselves, and we were way too young to do that um, because it's a. Uh, piece that's about, for those of you who don't know, it's uh, it's about two people and their five-year relationship, uh, falling in love, getting married, uh, falling out of love, and divorcing. Um, and when you're 18, you're like, I know all about everything. Uh, and you don't, uh, you maybe know the beginning part of that, but the rest of it doesn't really, like, you're like, I'm acting. Um, and it, it just comes off as forced. So, um... I really like this song. This is towards the later part of the show, um, where they're trying to make it work. They're still trying to make it work. Uh, it's not done yet, but they, they things aren't looking too good. And this is sung um, by Jamie, who's the dude, um, to Kathy, his wife, at the time. He's a um, he's a publisher, or no, he's not a publisher. He's an author, and he's he's very successful. I should set this up. There references. So he's he's doing really well in his career. He's taken off. He's getting a lot of bookings. Uh -huh. um, and uh, and she's an actress and keeps going back to Ohio for summer theater, and isn't isn't doing so great. And that's a source of tension between them. <clears throat> he's uh, he's just been invited to another publishing party for another exciting launch of another successful book, and she is. Um, She's kind of tired of that. So he says, There are people, and they are publishing my book. And there's a party that they are throwing. And while you've made it very clear that you're not going, I will be going. And that's done. But what's it really about? Is it really about a party, Kathy? Can we please for a minute stop blaming and say what you feel? Is it just that you're disappointed to be touring again for the summer? Did you think this would all be much easier than it's turned out to be? Well then talk to me, Kathy. <laughs> Talk to me if I didn't believe in you. We'd never have gotten this far. If I didn't believe in you and all of the 10,000 women you are. If I didn't think you could do anything you ever wanted to. I wouldn't be standing here now If I didn't believe in you We wouldn't be having this fight If I didn't believe in you I'd walk out that door and say Kathy, you're right But I It never took much convincing 
to make me believe in you. Don't we get to be happy, Kathy? At some point down the line, don't we get to relax without some new thesaurus to push me yet further from you? If I'm cheering on your side, Kathy, I can't use part mine, why do I? I hadn't believed 